Okay, Guy, thank you very much. Appreciate that. This is the loudest school we have ever been to, so I didn't cue them. <laughs> now they see they're on television. <laughs> Gotta let them have their fun. <laughs> hey, want to be a doctor, a nurse, maybe be able to save somebody's life using CPR? Here at Lodi High School, they have a med lab that resembles a real-life hospital room. It's got state-of-the-art equipment, and these kids are getting state-of-the-art hands-on training. Take a look. One, two, three. Lodi High School boasts another you-can-only-find-it-here program, a state-of-the-art med lab. Call it an on-site emergency room that features patient intake diagnostic tools, phlebotomy training, and virtual reality goggles for starters. It's been a blessing because I have so many people that just said yes to me when I asked for things, which is amazing. Uh, so I started off here just as a biology teacher to integrated science. I had a bunch of kids ask me for a pre-med club, so we did. 80 kids showed up on my first day. So I was like, all right, we have a need, yeah. right? So I, we, the club built over the years. Every year we go see a live surgery, and it just kind of built up to the point where people were asking for actual classes. And the kids have responded. Lines out the door to get into the ER is usually not a good thing unless it's at Lodi. I really look forward to being a pediatrician. When I came here, I actually went on the open house, and I saw this room, and I'm like, wow, this is a great opportunity. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to do something something in the medical field. So when I came to the school and found out they had this med lab, it was just a whole new opportunity. It's amazing, especially since these types of technology are only available in tech schools and specialized schools, but we have the opportunity um, for all of these amazing um, things and to be exposed to everything. We watch the students do everything, hands on, from CPR to drawing blood. 15 to 20 degrees in to getting patient vitals. 100 over 68. You couldn't help but be impressed by the state-of-the-art learning tools. That's cool. For state-of-the-art students. It's a nice preparation for college and what we're going to be expecting in the couple years from now. I like that this is all hands-on. I feel like this is the way that we really learn and experience. Another added advantage for these future physicians, webinars with doctors all over the country, internships at Hackensack Medical, and students get to witness a live surgery every year. I know so many people in so many other schools that they just don't have anything like this. They don't even have a class like this. Yeah. Like, it's insane. What is really insane is the students' use of VR technology. These goggles are simple to navigate, and they give the students a detailed look inside the human body. So much so, they can reach in, pull out the human heart, and rotate it in their hands to survey it. It looks like a scene out of a movie, but it's today's medicine. The best way I can explain it is like in like the Marvel movies where Iron Man is yeah. like look, talking through the mask. For no preferences from home interface. You yeah. see all the technology around you. That's exactly what it's like. Kind of like a Tony Stark type thing going yeah, on. Yeah, like it feels so like like you're in like the future. Yeah. It's insane. But that's crazy to be able to learn like that. What are you, 17 years old, 16, yeah. 17 years old? I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, it really is. So that's my hope is that they'll be inspired and they'll know what their options are. Because I really didn't. You know, when yeah. I got out of high school, I was like, doctor, nurse, that's it. Yeah. But they have so many different options, public health. You know, so I hope that they can figure out something that they really latch on to and hopefully it starts here. Uh, incredible resource. That's Dylan Gumnani. We've got Kayla Neely, Sebastian Amrosi, Emma Pontier, Delbert Jihadi, and our principal, Mr. Michael Adanasio. Michael, thank you for having us, first and foremost. Oh, we're sorry about the noise violation. Hey, that's okay. At this hour, to get these kids here and party like champions for you guys, it's a beautiful thing. Everything about this place is do it like a champion, and these guys have turned out. I mean, to see these kids, this type of excitement at this time of day. Yeah, this is full Lodi pride on display. Our kids have a lot of character. They're embracing this moment right we now. Talk about some of the, the core tenets of the courage, as you see behind you. Community is something you're really preaching. Uh, what is it about these kids that have adopted these principles and they seem to be just be carrying it out day well, to day? Well, we promote it all the time and we connect it to things that happen in the school on a daily basis. So it's about being positive, too. When we see something great happen, someone acts with courage, sometimes I pull into my office, we have a shirt that says courage, yeah. and they get to wear that to school and show that and have that story that they did something that earned that. Are you surprised you got this many kids to turn out this early? A little bit, but <laughs> deep down, I'm an optimist and I believe in our Lodi kids. I knew they'd show up. We've never had this many people turn out this early. 4.30, they were lying. Up. We're really proud of everything that's going on here at Lodi, and thank you for having us here. So let me ask you, well, we were talking about the med lab a second ago and everything that this school has to offer. What's it like being a student here with the resources you have? It's pretty great, honestly. Um, very grateful to have a really good teacher, Ms. Fasula. She taught me a lot of things I know to today, and uh, yeah, 
It's really great. That med lab, though, that's something else, kind of second to none. To have that type of opportunity to be able to go in there and work with that club or that class has got to be uh, a pretty great resource for you. Oh, it is, really. I learned a lot of things starting out. Before, it was pretty hard, but she really, like, took me through with the anatomy and things like the lymphatic system. Yeah. And we're still learning a lot of things today. It's, it's really great. That's great. Good to talk. Yeah, well, let me bring you in here for a second. You also love that med lab as well. How beneficial has that been for you? And what do you want to do one day? I do want to be an education teacher, but that has definitely changed my career a lot. And I do love having my classes in there. I've had the honor to have Mr. Sulo as a teacher for two years. And it's been, like I said, an honor to be in that class because it feels like I'm actually a doctor. That's awesome, Emma. That's awesome. Let me bring you in here, Sebastian. We did the announcement that we were coming to Lodi a little differently, that we spearheaded by your program. Thank you for that. Uh, so we were part of the morning announcements. What's it been like for you? I know you love film. You love television. It's, You've already given me a business card this yeah, morning. <laughs> it's, a, it's amazing, um, you know, uh, like having all of this, like in our school and seeing this really helps me, like, you know, go forward with yeah. this. It helps me shine in my, you know, my, my most yeah. best skill set, you know. Yeah. So, well, we amazing. appreciate you doing it. You continued success, and we're going to call on you. Uh, Kayla, Dylan, let me talk to the both of you. I know, obviously, you're part of the band. Thank you guys for being here this morning. Robotics is key. Engineering here is such a huge, huge opportunity opportunity at Lodi for you students who love it. What's it been like for you guys to compete and do as well as you've done? It's been really fun. Um, it's allowed us to get a whole bunch of new experiences, uh, allowed us to be that champion that the school talks about a lot. Um, yeah, it's a privilege, you know, to be able to be part of such a program that, you know, connects you with other people and the ability to, you know, use your skills and apply it to something that makes a difference, you know, it, it means all the world. Well, we love the energy here this morning. We thank you guys for being ready and being a part of the band here this morning and sounding as great as you do. We can't wait to hear more from you. But how about this school? How about Lodi High School? Guys, everybody, great, great job. Really, really great job. This is what it's all about. Ram Pride here at Lodi High School. I'm his class. We've got so much more ahead. Stay with us.